So in this video, we will be installing Apache Airflow on Windows subsystem for Linux that is WSL. So starting with first launch your Ubuntu Linux distribution from the start menu. Press Windows key and search for Ubuntu and press enter. Here a terminal will open of Ubuntu 20.04 version. First, we need to add custom apt repository using command sudo add apt repository ppa colon dead snake slash pp and press enter. Provide your password and press enter. So this will add custom apt repository. Next, we need to update our Linux distribution using command sudo apt update and write hyphen y flag now let's install python version 3.10 and pip using command sudo apt install python and provide the version 3.10 and python 3 pip so this will install python version 3.10 and pip into your linux distribution Once the installation of python version 3.10 and pip is com completed, now we need to install and set up virtual environment. We need to create a virtual environment to manage the dependencies using command sudo apt install python 3.10 hyphen venv. This will install the python virtual environment library press y now let's create a virtual environment using command python 3.10 hyphen m venv and provide your virtual environment name we will be creating a virtual environment with name Airflow ENV. Press enter. So if we write ls, you will see a virtual environment folder will be created with name Airflow ENV. Now let's activate the virtual environment using command source provide the virtual environment name slash bin slash activate now let's set the airflow underscore home parameter in your bash rc file so let's open the bash rc file in the nano editor And now let's add the airflow directory as an environment variable in the bash rc file. So this airflow folder represents where all the files and DAGs related to airflow will reside. Here srv is my user. You can replace the srv in the file path with your user. Let's save it using Control S and Control X. Now let's install the Apache Airflow using the command pip install Apache Airflow. 
So here you can see the installation of Apache Airflow has been started. Now let's initialize the database used by Airflow using the command Airflow db init. Now after the initialization of the database, we need to create a user that will log in into Airflow web interface. So for that we will be using Airflow users create and then we need to provide the username, password, first name, last name and then we need to provide the role to the user and the email id. So let's create a user. So here I am creating a user with username admin, first name as admin, last name as admin, role I'm assigning to the admin user is admin and email id as admin at the rate example.com let's provide the password to the user created let's provide the password again and press enter so now you can see a user admin is created with the role admin so if we write airflow users list here you will see one user will be present and using this user we can log in into airflow web interface now let's start the web server using the command airflow web server here we need to provide the port and let's run the web server in deattached mode now let's start the scheduler using the command airflow scheduler So this will start the scheduler. Now we need to head to any of the web browser and access the Airflow web interface at URL localhost colon port 8080 and let's login with the above user created with username admin and password as admin. So here you can see the Airflow login page. Let's login using the credential by providing username as admin and password as admin and click on sign in. So now you are inside your Airflow web interface. So by following this step you could have installed Apache Airflow in your WSL environment. Let me know if you encounter any issues or need any further assistance.